Hello everyone, uh, this is Brian Kibler here from Grand Prix Detroit. Um, I just found out that there would be no video coverage for this event, so I thought I'd do a little bit of my own. Um, this is very much impromptu since, you know, I'm sitting here with an iPad in my hotel room um, and not exactly a, uh, you know, big rig of, of video coverage equipment. So uh, I apologize for how bootleg this is, but this is what I've got. So um, I wanted to do a quick overview of the deck I'm playing, at least. Um, so let's check it out. Whoo! So, uh, this is, let me get a good shot of everything, this is my, uh, my Domri Naya deck. Um, I'm sure uh, many of you have seen this in my videos on Star City Games, um, but uh, this is what I'm going to be playing this weekend. Um, I'm, the sideboard is kind of sneakily hidden up here because I don't want everyone to know every little detail of what I'm doing, um, and I don't really have room to lay out my lands because, well, here I am in my hotel room. Not really all that much space. Um, so anyway, um, the the re my reasoning behind choosing this deck, um, other than well, it, it plays with Knight of the Reliquary and Elspeth and Noble Hierarch, um, and those guys are awesome. <laughs> is uh, is that it, I think it's one of the best possible things to be doing uh, against other fair decks. Um, you have lots of uh, lots of really powerful tools against decks like Blue White Red and Jund. Uh, in fact, this is a direct descendant of the deck that I built for Grand Prix San Diego. Um, where I made top eight uh, sp and specifically built that deck to beat Blue White Red and Jun. That was when Blue White Red was very much on the rise, um, and Jun was also very very popular. So um, the deck is is super good in those matchups. Um, any sort of creature deck or, or removal based deck, uh, I think this is really really powerful. Large part of that is the Planeswalkers. Um, Domri, I think, remains incredibly underrated. Uh, it's a super powerful card in any kind of creature based matchup, any really any fair matchup, anything that's going to attrition or uh, you know, based on dudes fighting the board. The other Planeswalkers are also pretty effective. Um, my last couple slots were debated between, um, like, do I want to have Ajani, do I want to have Elspeth, do I want to have two Ajani's, do I want to have, you know, an Ajani and a Dragon. Um, ultimately, I ended up playing Elspeth uh, in large part just because uh, four costs is, is, you know, really uh, better than five costs in tons of matchups. Dragon is really too expensive in a lot of places. Plus, it's Elspeth, which is, you know, one of my favorite cards of all time, and I get to play with it. <laughs> um... But uh, one of the reasons it's really good against a lot of the creature decks is just the, the removal suite. Um, same reason, I mean, similar reason that you know, a deck like Blue White Red is very powerful against a lot of decks. Um, you just have a lot of really efficient removal. Lightning Bolt, I think, is the most, not the most powerful card, but um, the most efficient card in the format. I think Lightning Bolt is actually the most defining card in Modern. Um, lots of people, uh, you know, lots of people think that, that you know, oh, uh, cards like Dark Confidant, whatever. Um, but Lightning Bolt's really the, the key card in the format, I think. This deck was really originally built um, as a as a deck that that was very good against Lightning Bolt. Um, you know, deck cards like uh, Locks on Smiter, and of the Reliquary, Tarmogoyf. You know, every threat in the deck is re is resilient to, to Lightning Bolt at some point in the game. Scavenging Ooze not so much, at least early on, but uh, it can certainly become that way. Um, and obviously, the the mana creatures, you know, they can soak up Lightning Bolts, but that just paves the way for the other creatures. Um, but anyway, uh, the deck's very good against decks like Affinity. You have a lot of cheap removal, as well as a lot of powerful cyber cards, um, which are going to remain hidden for the time being. Um, the weaknesses of the deck are stuff like uh, like Scape Shift and uh, Tron. So, oh, looks like Ben Rasmussen's back in the room. Say hello, Ben. <laughs> as I said, bootleg in my hotel room. Uh, but anyway, so no coverage, but I'm going to do what I can to uh, at least bring some interesting stuff. Uh, we'll see how, how easily I'm able to post it, because, well, I'm, you know, at the convention center or my hotel room, and uh, who knows whether I'll have good internet over there. So, anyway, um, we'll see if I, uh, I'm able to bring you some more over the course of the weekend. Uh, but for now, here's my deck. Enjoy. <laughs> 